to see that. Mark's just gotten stuck right beside me. I'll be there in a second, mate. Um, oh, jeez. I'll tell you what. If anyone ever tells you that Julemar isn't that good for four-wheel driving, they're bloody I wrong. Need someone to give a hand here. Yeah, I'm coming, buddy. All good. Um, definitely come out. It'll be worth your time every day. And I'll tell you what, that rain has just made everything, everything much more fun. So anyway, let's get Mark out of this and just keep enjoying. Get out of here, guys. Absolutely awesome. Blue skies. Woo! I'll just try pulling pull him first, eh? Yeah, I'll just yeah, see how we go. He was getting out of the way. <laughs> he did get dirty. <laughs> no, the hood's just there, you reckon. <laughs> That's a massive amount of force that's yeah, trying it to... Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, Jesus. How do we uh, cause it? Like that Whoa. <laughs> Righto, guys. Uh, that didn't work. I ended up just roasting a bit, my clutch a bit hard there. Um, just moving dead weight because he's diffed out. So what we're going to do is use my car as an anchor point, get Brad's car here with the winch, and uh, see if we can pull him out front ways that way. Uh, see how we go. But... There's no good fool driving, mate. No good fool driving out of bloody Julema. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. What if these ones were then clean? Um, the Julemar Dice Park. <laughs> Mud bar. Well, I put a try hat to um, get you. Anchor? Yeah, yeah sweet, mate. Were well, you getting pulled forward a bit? Yeah, gotcha. Alright, so that didn't work. That was just a dead bloody weight. So now Brad's going to come around the back. As you can see, we've made some traps already, but I think the only thing we're going to worry about is if it diffs out again. Yeah. And it'll be a dead weight. But um, if that doesn't work, we'll get mine uh, at the front anchor again. So we're just trying all the avenues first. You know, we've got nowhere to be, eh, boys? <laughs> <laughs> we are right here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Best 300 metres of ever travelled. Best 300. Nice little 300 metre bit of track, this one, guys. Come out here just for that length. <laughs> How does it feel, mate, to save the day twice now? Hey, look, mate, you know, you, you got to do payback where payback's due. Last trip out with you fellas, you saved my bacon more than once, so it's nice to repay the favour. Oh, bloody hell. We'd have been stuffed without the winch. Straight up. Oh, look, yeah. Look, it just makes it a little bit yeah. easier, a little bit safer. Dead on. Um, you know, they don't get used every yeah. day, but I think, you know, for situations like this when you've got them, hey. Pays for himself that? over and over, mate. Yeah, Dead on. Right. Nicely done. So that's the spot where we thought he might diff out, where it might be a dead yeah. weight, but I think it might just slide now. Yeah. It is moving a bit easier. That winch is working hard, though. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Forward a bit? Yeah, I was going to say whether you can go forward and try and just rock it nah, out a bit. It's, it's just free spinning, like yeah. I thought about wiggling the wheels to try and get some, get some grip. But yeah. Yeah. It's because well, I'm on the diff. Yeah. It's like we're, we're skull dragging it, yeah, the wheels yeah. aren't even doing nothing. So Jimmy's just come up with the idea to throw a couple of logs underneath the tyres there just to lift it up a little bit because that diff is dragging a little bit. Um, so is Mark's lip. 
<laughs> he's loving every second of it, mate. <laughs> and Scotty's just doing his thing. Yeah. Hey, okay. the wood man. <laughs> I love wood. Yeah. And we've also jammed a log underneath the uh, the back tire of uh, Brad's to try and stop it from coming forward. So I think we're big, we're going to be alright. So. The only thing I'm worried about is the actual wheels, they're just spinning now, I'm, yeah. I'm bellied up. We yeah. look like bloody four-wheel drive action here, there's a perfectly fine track there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Can't you just take the sensible track, mate? On this week's episode of four-wheel drive action, yeah. we've taken the hard line. Yeah. <laughs> you're just about back onto I the know, hard stuff. I know, we're, we're you're, um, there. you're half a metre, I don't think there's any point trying to go forward now. So you know, after this, Mark, I feel like you should back up and then really take a nice old run up. Give it, it another go? Yeah, let's jump it, man. Let's send it. Yeah, do a trick. Yeah. Right, hey, old Creeb will be happy. <laughs> he will be, be doing old Creeb, be proud, mate. Yeah. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, we're, we've sort of gotten him up uh, to higher ground, but still that diff's dragging and he's not going anywhere now, so I'm gonna give him a snatch um, with uh, Jimmy's 105 series, so I think that'll do enough just to get it over that hump there, and then he'll possibly, once he's on those sticks, he'll be able to drive out, so I think it'll be sweet. But see you in another six hours, we'll still be here. <laughs> Beautiful work, that worked really well, good plan, good stuff mate. Works well mate. Works awesome. Well. Uh, would have been stuffed without that winch, I'll be honest with you. Or it would have been a long time digging and shit like that. So, great work, boys. So, just keep surprising me this joint. It really keeps surprising me. We're actually on our way um, to a hill climb, apparently, that Scott's got marked in his map. Um, and I'll tell you, just the track on the way to that, this is one offshoot of a track. There's some awesome bog holes and awesome little muddy sections. Um, I'll tell you what, winter would be bloody hectic out here, just like the Holland track, I reckon, so um, do yourself a favour, get out of here, it's absolutely mint. We went through that way all because you had the nuts to try it. Because it looked sketchy, didn't it? That looks it looked sketchy. a lot worse than what it was, it so. Did. No, you did well, mate. On your What's happened here, Brad? Why do you always come over when I've got issues? <laughs> you do it every time to me, Pete. <laughs> You're killing me. See, it, it's, it's calmer now. <laughs> please, please, please. Oh, you get in there. We can hear it. Nearly all. You nearly got, got it, yeah. Look at the size of that beast. Yeah. Oh yes, thanks, mate. Actually, one of our subscribers would be pretty proud of you. Nothing wrong, nothing going on here though, is there, mate? Where? We stopped for lunch, bud. Where? Didn't we? <laughs> for a noodle. <laughs> anyway, guys, we've stopped here. Just to have some lunch, haven't we, guys? For a noodle. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's everyone got for lunch, though? Noodles. 
Left no. over. Leftovers. <laughs> yep. Brekkie wrap. What about you, um, oh, Brad? I've got a, uh, some cold meat wrap sitting Beautiful. there. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. And a beer to chew on. Well, now we're just going to finish having lunch, maybe a beer, and then uh, continue down the track, uh, explore a little bit more, and then uh, slowly find camp. Um, arrive nice and early and just really relax for the Arvo, get our nice dinners sorted, and just enjoy, mate. That's all, that's all it's about. We'll see you soon. Nicely done, mate. So I don't know if you guys can see behind me, that is a hectic bloody hill climb. I think we have to tackle that in the morning, eh, Brad? I bloody hope so. <laughs> We're here at camp. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. If it looks like we are dirty and muddy, because we are. <laughs> we went down this hectic track today. Uh, some of the best rock driving and crawling that I've ever done. Yeah. Um, it was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was bloody fun. What did you guys think? What did you think, Jimmy? That was awesome fun. Yeah, awesome favourite part? What was your favourite part? Oh. That descent oh, was my favourite for you. Yeah, yeah, those 45 degree. Oh, no. Ending up in the mud hole this morning. Oh, well, that was still 45. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was probably a bit more than 45, actually, to tell you yeah, the truth. Bloody yeah. was, bloody was, mate. Awesome. That Brad, what cool. about you, mate? Do you know what? I really enjoyed that uh, hill climb in Julimar yeah. that we did there. The one that we pulled up to and we thought, oh, are we going to do it? Are we not going to do yeah. it? And bit the bullet in the end and did it, didn't we? Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was good fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I agree, dude. Awesome. Oh, probably the scenery. Yep. Like coming yeah. down that track was, oh. I mean, awesome view. Awesome Proper, view. yeah, no, I mean, it was absolutely great beautiful. Great tracks and everywhere we went was awesome. Yep. Just the scenery. Even at the top of that hill climb that we'd say things like, yep. are we going or are we not? And then we went up there, it was brilliant up there too. Yeah, so, no, nah, nah, was, was good. Well, all worth it to get here though, wasn't it? Yeah, that, I was going to add that at the end. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. Mate. Mark? Yeah, um, just overcoming some like, rock driving and that. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yep, yep. Big, there's some big hills yeah, out here. Which... Yeah, there bloody is. And anyone who ever has told you that Julemar is not that good for full driving, <laughs> they're wrong. They're so wrong, aren't they? Taking the wrong track. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly right, exactly. But guys, we're going to sit back now, um, get a fire going. There's it's only cold. one man for the job there. It is cooling up a bit, <laughs> isn't it? Cold. Far out. But I, another thing I was going to say, actually, was what I said to these boys today is that. I didn't want to go up that hill climb that Brad talked about, but because he went up, I 
I found the confidence to go up. You know what I'm saying? So, and I wouldn't have done it if you if you guys weren't there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, moment. and that's yeah. the thing. You know, things like you know, and, and it wouldn't it wasn't extreme. You know, we yeah. did see some extreme ones that we just said no, we're, we're not going to give that a go. And the hill climbs, hill descents, one of those things that you, you got to know your car, you got to know your your limits Definitely. because things can go wrong. Oh, sh and yeah, so, yeah. you know, if you pull up to a hill, whether you're going up it or down yep. it and think, no, nah, it's, it's not for me, you're better off not doing it because the yeah, last thing not. you want to do is, you know, end up on your roof or... Yeah, you ruin the weekend. But, but yeah. People hurt themselves that way, yeah, so... Yeah, exactly, mate. No, that's well said, actually, but no, absolute ripper weekend. Gonna, as I said, we're going to get the fire going, get some nice dinners going, set up, dry our swags out. <laughs> it's still wet. <laughs> yeah, it is still wet. <laughs> we thought we'd been set up a bit earlier, but, you know... Shit happens, yeah. but it was great. Day. All worth it. All <laughs> worth it, it for this spot. So We're testing our limits this week. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> guys. Cheers again. Cheers, Absolute cheers. awesome well done, crew. Eh? Uh, cheers, boys. Cheers. Guys, cool. we'll see you at dinner time. Woo! So what's this, Jimmy? That you're going to use to light this, mate? Uh, this is a fire steel, mate. A little uh, flint. Yep. So it's got a striker with it. Beautiful. It's just all ferrocerium rod, so you just scrape it. And it creates mobs and sparks. So. Awesome. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. So he's using matches. About to watch a bloody genius at work, people. Let's <laughs> hope it works, eh? Hey? Yeah, mate, absolutely. So it's a nice dry tinder. Look at that. Beautiful. Off you go, eh? And we're away. You got all your wood ready to go. That's it. Just load it on. And we'll build it up. Woo. Nicely done, mate. Cool. What are you doing there, Jimmy? Let's get some coals. Come on, start bragging. That's what because that's what I'm looking forward to. What are you what are you making? Oh some bread of, bread and butter pudding. Easy bread and butter pudding. Beautiful. There you go. It's just raisin bread, there you go, with uh, vanilla sugar and cinnamon. Oh my god. And then more raisin bread, and then just coat it all in custard. Yeah. Wow. And then just uh, get it bubbling away until it goes all gooey. Done. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What a way to end a good day, eh? And a good night. Spot on. Bloody beautiful. Righto guys, I made a big mistake because I was meant to show you guys what we were having for dinner uh, but we got a bit too hungry and hopped into them. What do you think, Jimmy? Awesome, mate. Good, mate. Good. Love the rub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I use the old barbecue mafia rub. Oh my God. Thanks so much, guys. They uh, were teriyaki chicken burgers. Um, Koopy avocado on top of a nice um, chicken thigh with a nice teriyaki glaze on it. It was delicious. But, uh, well, Jimmy's just thrown his bread and butter pudding on. And uh, I think we'll switch the cameras off after I show you what that bloody looks like. And we'll see you in the morning. How are you feeling, big guy? Not too bad. Show today. off your cup. Look at my cup. How nice is that cup? It's not rose gold, it's <laughs> copper. <laughs> and, and, it's, and it's big. He sounds pretty defensive, doesn't he? <laughs> it's not rose gold, it's <laughs> copper. Anyone would think he's been getting teased the last two nights about his <laughs> rose gold cup. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. Ripper day was had today, but awesome, um, I awesome. think we're all going to sleep pretty well. Yeah, very well. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, we'll see you in the morning, bright and early and not hungover. Hooroo. All right, guys, a sad moment because we've got to go home, don't we, boys? But bloody lot. mortgages to pay, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, how'd you guys go? Did you enjoy yourselves? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Loved it. Had yeah, it awesome, mate, awesome. Um, we went to bed sort of early last night because I think we were a bit rooted from the driving, weren't we? It's a big day, wasn't it? It was, man, it was. I think, so we left camp at 9, 8.39 yesterday and got into camp at... Four, six, yeah, five forty-five or something like that. So yeah. it was a bloody big day. You know, it takes a toll on you. But lucky we're so fit. <laughs> <laughs>
um, but guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this um, this quick two-nighter with the boys and Jimmy, Mark, Scotty, and um, Brad from Dad 4x4. Um, throw a like up uh, and subscribe if you like this content. Uh, we'll see you on the next trip. It's time for us to hit the road. Have a great day, guys. Cheers, boys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Cheers, folks. <laughs> Pretty special one on this episode. Got some new. Oh, no. Ah! Well, oh, yeah. You will, um, no, so it again. So cut out the f word, please. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody oh, benefit. My crack. No, nah, not at all. <laughs> oh, is that why I asked if it was waterproof? <laughs> no. Bit of wetness going on in there, is there, mate? <laughs> one take. I reckon I've got this in one take. You reckon I have? No. New. <laughs> um. Yep. Yeah, you write a stuff. Well, you've just. <laughs> I wish that I could keep a straight face and just get that in. Like, I wish I could do that. I, I might. I'm going to put that in. Like, I'm <laughs> totally putting that in. Bet that, that's not the first time you've had dirt on your knees, eh, champion? <laughs> well, we've. <laughs> yeah. well, we... I'm going to f get that sound bite, eh? Oh, yeah, I'm going to make that my text message. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> I just gotta keep laughing. <laughs> <laughs>